everyone. Thanks for joining. My name is Beth from Phonics by Pilates. And today we're going to do a 20 minute abs express class. So we're going to do 10 different exercises, each for a minute, take a break for a minute, and then do a second round. So full 20 minutes of abs, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So all you need today is your mat. You can come on down. We're going to start on our backs, knees bent. I'm going to get the timer started here. Our first exercise is going to be heel reaches. All right, here we go for one minute. Go ahead, lie back, hands behind your head. We're going to go ahead and reach for that heel. Same side here, reaching for our heel. So we lift our head, neck, and shoulders. We're looking up towards the ceiling. We're reaching towards that heel with our hand, closing the gap in the side body. So we're taking that last rib down towards that hip bone working those obliques. We've got five more seconds on this side, and then we're going to rotate to the other side. In three, two, one. Go ahead and switch it out, reaching for that other side. Good. Really reach long through that arm. Remember, we're looking up towards the ceiling. We've got that contraction in the abs. We're not holding our breath. We're using our breath. We're squeezing those obliques, contracting them. So we, as we reach for that heel, we try to take that last rib down to that hip bone. We've got four, three, two, one. We're going to go ahead, take our legs into tabletop. So as our feet come off the mat, we need to imprint that mat. We're trying to keep our knees right over top of our hips, and we're going to lift and lower. As we lift, we blow all that air out. As we lower, we take our inhale. So we Blow that air out, making way for that contraction. We have to keep that belly button pushing towards that spine. So if we're having trouble keeping our back flat or imprinted into the mat, we bring those knees a little closer to the chest. That should push that back down. For a greater challenge, we try to keep those knees right over those hips. Good. We've got less than 20 seconds to go here. We're gonna switch this up to the single leg stretch. Got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we bring one leg in, we take the other leg long. If our head, neck, and shoulders need a break, we just go ahead and place those on the mat. Now, again, our feet are off the mat, so we want to keep that back imprinted. To do so, we may need to lift our legs a little higher. That's okay. If you want to amp this up just a little bit for a greater challenge, you can lift the head, neck, and shoulders, contracting the abs the entire time. Remember that back has to stay imprinted. One other thing I want you to concentrate on is keeping the chest wide. So we don't want to round the shoulders forward. We want to pull the shoulder blades back. We've got 20 seconds to go here. From here, we're going to go into oblique crunches. We're going to stay on the same side. Use that breath each time you're lifting from the core. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Legs go down, feet on the mat. We're going to go ahead and cross it opposite elbow to opposite knee. You see that breath. Remember, we blow it all out as we contract up. We inhale as we lower. We've got 15 more seconds here. Our hands are behind the head, but we are not pulling on that neck. In five seconds, we're going to keep that elbow and knee connected, and we're going to bring the other leg in. Here we go. We keep them connected. We take our other leg up towards the ceiling. We lower and lift. Good. And lower and lift. Woo. Lots of abs here. Those transverse abs are working. We've got 15 seconds. We're going to switch this up to the other side. Keep going. You've got it. Use that breath in five, four, three, two, one. We lower those feet. We switch it up to the other side. Use that breath each time. Good. We've got about 15 seconds left, and then we're going to add that other leg in using that combination of lowering and lifting while keeping the elbow and knee connected. 
three, you got five, four, three, two, one. We keep that elbow and knee connected. We take that other leg. We lift and lower. You've got it. So look at the timer here. Lifting and lowering, keeping that contraction. Those transverse abs, those low deep abdominals are really working hard. So you've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to take our legs into a tabletop position. So once again, they're off the mat. Press that back down. We take our arms up to the ceiling, but we pull those shoulder blades back. Going into our dead butt, opposite leg, opposite hand, stretch up. Now again, if you're having trouble keeping that back imprinted, you just take the arm and the leg a little higher. Maybe you don't take it back as far. Maybe your range of motion is not quite there yet, but as we strengthen those abs, we can get it a lot lower. Good, we've got 30 seconds to go. And then we're gonna switch this to our scissors. A couple of options for the scissors. You can keep the head, neck, and shoulders down. Or again, if you want a greater challenge, you can lift the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. We're gonna take it nice and slow, lowering one leg at a time. Got it. Keep that breath working. Keep that back imprinted. Belly button spine. All right, here we go. Legs go up towards the ceiling. We lower one leg at a time. We keep that chest nice and open. Legs don't have to be perfectly straight. That's totally fine. Again, if you want a greater challenge, you just bring that head, neck, and shoulders up. So we're using our transverse abs to keep that leg from just lowering to the mat and then lifting it back up. It's nice and controlled. The core is nice and controlled here. We've got 25 seconds to go. Then we're going to move into our straight leg crunch. Now, if the straight leg crunch hurts your back, you're going to bend your knees. Remember, keep that chest open. Head, neck, and shoulders are off the mat for a greater challenge. Otherwise, if they need a break, you just take them down to the mat. Keep the chest open. We've got five, four, three, two, one. We're going to take both legs down. Okay, pointing through the toes, you can flex them as well. You take the hands behind the head. We lift and lower. Remember, we're looking up towards the ceiling, so that down to our feet, that makes us pull on our neck. We're lifting from the core, so you can lift right at the midpoint, sort of of that chest. We're working that entire abdominal wall. Excellent, we've got 30 more seconds here. And then we've got our plank series and we'll be done with this first round. Use that breath. So in about 15 seconds, we're gonna hit a side plank here. It's your journey, so you can choose the position you want of your side plank. A lot of different options, we've got five, four, three, two, one. We roll onto our side. Now we can come up on our forearm or our wrist, whatever, or the palm of our hand, whatever you want. Just make sure that shoulder is stacked right over top of that palm or that elbow. You can keep one leg down. You can take your front leg forward, your back, your bottom leg back, or you can also stack them. So you have a lot of different options here. Keep that chest nice and open. In five seconds, we're gonna rotate to a forward plank. In three, two, one. So we rotate to that forward plank. We tuck the hips. We pull up through the shoulder bridge so that we don't sink into those shoulder blades. We've got 20 more seconds and then we're going to rotate to that other side. I'm going to turn so that my back is not to you and I can see the timer. Keep breathing. Shoulders right over top of those elbows or wrists. We've got five, four, three, two, one. We're going to rotate to that other side. So you hit that side plank right away. Belly is pulling in. Obliques are pushing up towards the ceiling here. You can relax that top arm on top of the body, or if it feels good, you can just keep it up. Whatever works for you. We've got about 10 more seconds here. And then our final move, we're gonna rotate forward for one more forward plank. We'll be on our first round. 
in four, three, two, one. We rotate forward. So remember, if we want, we can always come down to our knees. We just tuck the hips, pull the belly in, or we can always come up into a high plank as well. Just keep those shoulders right over those wrists. We've got 15 seconds left here. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, lower the knees, open them up, pull the soles of the feet together, and then just sit back. Let those hips sort of relax onto those heels. Relax the arms, pull the shoulders down away from your ears, and breathe. Good job, everyone. That was your first round. So just a quick cat-cow stretch here. Then we'll catch our breath and we'll do it a second time and then really stretch out. So in your cat-cow stretch, I want you to think about pulling off of the mat. The shoulders are right over top of the wrists. The belly button is pulling in. You have that nice flat um, spine and your knees are right underneath your hips. Go ahead, take an inhale through the nose. On that exhale, blow it all out. Lift up through the belly, rounding the back, really widening it and rounding it. And then inhale, push the hips back, lower the belly, lift the chest. Good. Feel that nice stretch through the core. Go ahead, round it up on that exhale. And then extend it through that inhale. Good. Excellent. So that was our first round. We're about to do the second round. We've got just 10 minutes left, and then we're done. We'll stretch it out. All right, so remember, we started with those heel reaches. That's where we're going to start again. Let me go ahead and just set the timer one more time so we can get our whole 10 minutes. Here we go. Lie on back. Hands behind the head. Go ahead, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and reach for that heel. Good. If you're reaching, you're coming back to center each time. So we're closing the gap. This is all oblique work. Well, it's core work too, because we have our head, neck, and shoulders lifted. But we're really working on sculpting the side body here. We've got 10 more seconds. Remember, we're looking up towards the ceiling. We're not fully on that mat. We've got five, four, three, two, one. We switch to the other side. Good. We reach long towards that heel and back to center. Good. Can we lift up maybe just a quarter of an inch more, a greater contraction through the core, and then close the gap in the side body. Remember, after this, we're gonna go into that tabletop crunch. We've got five, four, three, two, one. We lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Hands stay behind the head. Legs come up into tabletop. Back has to be imprinted. We begin with that lift and lower of the chest here. So once again, a couple different options. If we feel like our back is arching, coming between a neutral spine and an imprinted spine, then we pull the legs in a little closer to the chest. That helps to push that back down. If we want to try and challenge ourselves and we have control of our back, then we take those knees out over top of those hips. We try and come up a little higher. We have 20 seconds left, and we're going to move into that single leg stretch. Remember, we're looking up towards the ceiling here. Use that inhale and exhale. So exhale as you lift, make way for that contraction. Inhale as you lower down. Okay, we're going into that single leg stretch in five, four, three, two, one. One knee comes in, one leg goes long. Remember, if we I have to take a break from that head, neck, and shoulders, then we just let, let it stay on the mat. Our legs are off the mat, so once again, the back has to be imprinted. So we push that belly button to that spine. If you want to challenge yourself even more, you bring that head, neck, and shoulders up, you keep that contraction in the core. If you're having trouble bringing that back down, remember you can take those legs a little higher. That should help to push that low spine down. We definitely don't want to get into our lower lumbar. We've got about 15 seconds left. We're going to move into that oblique crunch. We're going to stay on the same side. 30 seconds of that opposite elbow to opposite knee. And then we're going to hold it connected and get that other leg involved. Here we go in three, 
two, one, we take those legs down, hands go behind the head. We get that rotation and that crunch. Now remember, we're trying to bring the elbow to the knee, not necessarily the knee to the elbow. By pulling, not pulling, but by lifting the chest, bringing the elbow to the knee, that's creating a greater contraction and rotation through the core. That's what we want to do. We want to challenge ourselves. We've got three seconds. We're going to keep them connected in three, two, and one. We keep them connected or as close as we can. We take that other leg up, we lower and lift, and lower and lift. Less than 20 seconds here. We're going to hit the other side. Woo, I know it's challenging. You got it. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We take those feet down. We go right into that other side. Good. Get that rotation and that contraction. Whew, good job. Use your breath each time. We've got about 10 more seconds like this, and we'll get that other leg involved. Working on that combination in five, four, three, two, and one. We keep them connected. We lift that other leg. We lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. Wow, lots of transverse abs here. Let's see the timer. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs come down. We're going into our dead butt. So legs lift into tabletop, pushing the abs down. Arms come up to the ceiling. We pull the shoulder blades down. Opposite leg stretches, opposite arm. So the back has to stay imprinted. That's the challenge of the move. So we want to make sure that we push that belly button to spine. To do that, maybe we have to take our, our range of motion a little higher, not so close to the mat. Each time, check in with those out or, um, shoulders. Make sure that the shoulders are pulling back. Not rocking side to side. We've got total control here. Once again, getting those obliques involved. We've got our scissors coming up next in 15 seconds. Try to keep that knee right over that hip each time. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Legs go up towards the ceiling. One leg lowers at a time. We keep the chest open. So if our head, neck, and shoulders need a break, they stay on the mat. If we want to have a little bit more of a challenge, we lift the head, neck, and shoulders up, but we have to keep the chest open. So we pull those shoulder blades back. We're lifting from the Core, so not hinging at the neck. That's where we get all that tension in the neck. So we tuck that chin. We use the core to lift, lift us up. We have 30 seconds to go here. And then our next move will be that straight leg crunch. Really the chest lift. We will be contracting those abs. 15 more seconds. At 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So legs come down, hands come behind the head, toes are pointed, we lift and lower. Now, if this causes too much strain in the back, you just do a basic chest lift. So feet are on the mat, knees are bent, you're lifting and lowering. So Different options, listen to your body, whatever works for you. Now we look up towards that ceiling. We've got just our plank series left to go, and then we'll be done. And we can stretch it out. That'll be our 20 minutes of abs. Good job, everyone. Keep it up. You're doing so great. Less than 15 seconds to go here. We'll hit that side plank first. We've got five, four, three, two, 
One, we come on over. Get that side plank right away so you have your full time. You lift up from those lower obliques. You pull those abs in. You lift from the low obliques here. Your shoulder is right over top of that elbow. That top shoulder is relaxed. Good. If this hurts your neck, you just rotate and look down towards your neck. That takes some of the strain off of the neck. We've got five, four, three, two, one. We're rotating to that forward plank. So remember, we tuck those hips. We pull up through the shoulder bridge. Shoulders right over top of those elbows. We've got 20 seconds left. Then we're going to rotate to that other side. Almost done. Moving into our last minute of class here. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, we rotate to that other side. I'm going to rotate this way so I can see that timer. We pull it up. Good. Remember the shoulder is right over top of the elbow or the wrist. Body's nice and open. Top shoulder is relaxed. Abs are pulling in. We pull up from the bottom obliques so that you can pretend as if there's something there that's going to poke you. So this is working those obliques. Good. We've got five seconds left. We rotate for the last time to that forward plank in three, two, one. We rotate forward. So again, if you want it to be up in a high plank, it looks something like this. If you want to be down on your knees, it might look something like this. Everyone's journey is different. You can come down to your forearms as well, either on your knees or you can have those legs up. Push long through those legs. Pull up through that shoulder bridge. Take a deep breath. We've got one more. Three, two, one. Lower the knees. Sit back in the child's pose. Awesome, everyone. That was 20 minutes of abs. So reach back. Just relax those shoulders. Let everything start to come down just a little bit. That heart rate gets elevated. We want to bring it down. We are going to stretch it out. Good. Let's do our cat cow stretch first. So we're going to come up onto all fours. Remember, those wrists are right underneath of those shoulders, and those knees are right underneath those hips. We scoop up through the abs, and then we flatten out the back. We lift up through the shoulders so that we don't sink into them. That hurts. So we take an inhale through the nose, and as we exhale, Feel everything contract up so that belly button comes up to the spine, the mid thoracic spine, curved up and widens. And then as we inhale, we push those hips back, lower that belly and lift that chest. Exhale, scoop it all up. Eyes go towards the sides. And then inhale, lower the belly, lift the chest. Good. Come back to that neutral spine. Excellent. We're just going to lower ourselves forward here. We're going to take our feet as wide as our mat and literally rotate them open so that we take some of that tension off of that low spine. Good. We're going to take our hands right next to our armpits, bring the shoulders down, and then placing the weight in the heels of the hands, I want you to just to press into the heels of the hands, lengthen first, and then lift yourself up into a swan position and then right back down. Now, if you feel any pinching in your low lumbar spine, don't do this stretch. Lift up with that inhale, and exhale, lower it down. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. If it feels good, you can come up into that full spine and lower it all the way down. Good, just one more here. And all the way down. And then let's go ahead and roll ourselves over onto our bellies. So we roll ourselves onto our bellies. Take those knees, bend them. Take the feet as wide as your mat. And then just take your arms out to that T position. Relax the shoulders. Let the um, chest just open up here. Once you just to lower both legs over to one side. So my legs have just lowered over to my left side. I'm going to pick up that left foot and place it on top of that right knee for a little extra weight there to help get that leg down to the mat. I feel this big spinal rotation and keeping that right shoulder down on the mat. 
Good. I take that uh, left leg up. I bring those legs through center using my core. And then I let them rotate over to the other side. So I get this big rotation through the core. If I need a little gentle assistance, I pick up that right leg and I just gently lift it on top of the left. That's a little extra added weight. This left shoulder stays down. Excellent. I take that leg up, I come through center. I'm going to take my left leg long, bring my right leg into the chest. Just separate those legs. Use those biceps to Pull that leg in towards your chest. Go ahead and take that arm out to the side one more time. And then pull that leg across the body. Good. So you get a little spinal rotation and you feel a stretch through the core as well. So this always helps to release my low lumbar spine. And keep the shoulder down. Good. Then come through center, take that leg long, bring that other leg in towards the chest here. Same arm as the leg is on, goes out to that T position. You use the opposite arm to pull that knee across the body. Feel that spinal rotation, and you feel that stretch through the foot. Excellent. You come back through center. You just take both legs, bend both knees, and then go ahead and just roll over onto your side. Excellent. We're just going to press ourselves up and come to that seated position. And take one more side body stretch here. So sitting crisscross if this is comfortable. If not, you can just take those legs out in front of you. Or you can sit in what I like to call a mermaid position, or sometimes just a cheerleader Z position, whatever feels most comfortable for you. I'm just gonna sit crisscross today. Go ahead and take one arm down, take that other arm up to uh, next to your ear. So as you do that, try not to pull the shoulder up, pull the shoulder down, and then lengthen first before you side bend over. Good. Then we're gonna take that arm down. And take that other arm up, relax that shoulder, and then lengthen first, and then side bend over. It feels so good. Good. And then just come back through center. We're going to take a big inhale up. And then one more inhale as we exhale it down. Good job, everyone. That was our 20 minutes of abs. I hope you feel a lot stronger. Hope you felt that in your core. And then you can see me right back here. Just check out some of my other videos, whatever you're interested in. We have 20 Minute Arms Express, and then we have more 20 Minute Abs Express. So I hope to see you again, and have a great day.